Hi, welcome to educator.com. Today in web design, we're going to be covering the setting up the files um, in for Photoshop, your photos, how to export them out correctly, um, and actually setting up your hierarchy in Adobe Dreamweaver. So the first part here, um, in Photoshop, you can take any of your photography that you actually might want to use and how we're going to appropriately export it out. We did do in the previous lesson how to export out images in Photoshop using stuff you created. Now we're going to actually show you how to use a, a one extra little tool to actually resize your images and to get them correctly um, into Dreamweaver. And then we're just going to cover the, basically the hierarchy of the web development so you can kind of see how it should be organized um, and how Dreamweaver actually interprets those files and how it's a little bit easier as once you set them up correctly. So the first portion we're going to actually look at is uh, we're going to go into Photoshop first, and this is an image that I, I brought in just to kind of demonstrate what we're actually, how we're going to resize this. Right now, this, this image size is a little bit large, so for the web, we don't want, we don't need an image that large. So as it might look small on your screen, you always got to know your actual sizes, and we measure everything in pixels uh, for the most part. You can, there's different measurements you can use, still inches, and, uh, but pixels is really your, your, your going to be your best one when you actually go into web development. So. Let's uh, start to edit this down real quick. So in Photoshop, when you select an image, you actually get this um, image size little uh, window here. And right now, I'm, I'm dealing in pixels. So you have percents and pixels. Um, you can also see we have inches and all these other increments. But pixels is really what you want to use. Um, I'm gonna just going to go and put this image size in uh, 200. Uh, pixels and it automatically configures the height as well to be proportionate. So if you don't want that, you can also just unselect this little chain link here and actually will um, allow you to put in whatever size you want. And you know, if you wanted to uh, not to be proportional for some reason, you actually can do that as well. Okay, and it kind of gives you all these little dimensions here. 72 uh, resolution is perfectly normal. You really don't want to bump up your actual resolution too high because again, your file size file sizes are really get really large. So be aware of that as you're actually, you know, using your images. This is perfectly acceptable. Um, it shows up very clearly. Um, I don't think you're really going to see too much of a difference if something is 300, uh, uh, 300 resolution versus a 72 right now um, if the image is done correctly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it actually shrinks up a little bit. And we're actually when we're resizing a lot of these photos, you basically want to keep in mind. Um, always the size and how when you export things out so let's go back here I don't need to crop this tool any further um, let's see here let's see hit okay okay good so let's go ahead and get a better look at this so I have this whole photo now um, again it's already been cropped if I wanted to crop it further it's up to you um, if you remind you real quick, the crop tool here, it's kind of like the photo editing tool. So if I wanted to just take this down a little bit more, maybe I don't want so much of that and I wanted to crop it a little bit tighter, I can do that. And my photo is a little bit more cropped now. So it won't be exactly 200 pixels anymore. Um, it's going to be a little bit smaller now. Uh, and down here kind of gives you the dock size 126K. So you definitely have that. Um, you know you have a smaller resolution. So now, if you remember, we actually went to export this out using a uh, safer web devices. And I'll bring this one back over here. So we have these different file types. So if you remember last time I said, you know, we have the GIF files and PNG files and we have the JPEG files. For this, there's, we don't, there's, no there's not a re real reason to use a, a PNG file or GIF file. So suitably, JPEG is going to be good enough for this. And again, keep in, keep in mind of your uh, quality size. You don't, this, this file size doesn't really have to be that big or the actual image doesn't have to be really high resolution. Um, it, it's a perfectly clear image, especially when you're taking down an image, you're making it smaller. Um, it's going to be actually a little bit more clear if, because of the, the pixels are actually being a little bit closer to each other and not being spread apart. If you've ever realized it in photography, um, 
your cameras will have um, you know an eight megapixel, nine megapixel. The higher megapixel, the more um, actual dots per inch within uh, or color dots in each square of inch. Uh, the photo so it actually shows up clear. When you start pulling it apart or any image, it starts to get a little pixelated. It's missing color basically. So in this case, we didn't do that. We actually shrunk it down, so we're actually okay. Um, then you would just save your photo out uh, again to the appropriate name. So I already kind of saved this photo, so I'm going to just go to the actual folder part and get you out of there. So if you're this this would this part you will repeat the process over and over. If you're going to actually be using uh, Photoshop for a lot of your images, uh, you'll again just save them all into an image folder, which I'm going to show you right now um, the ideal way to create this and what the purpose is. So I'm just going to cancel out all this. Um, we don't need any of this here. Um, okay. And let's gonna we're gonna go right into the actual folder part and Dreamweaver. So another tool that you know I've been talking about a little bit, and this tool is your 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 web editor. Okay, this is basically where you're gonna write um, and design all your web stuff and to bring in all these images and all your everything that you've been working on is now gonna come in um, to life and writing the appropriate language for it to, so that it can actually be viewable on. Um, the World Wide Web, okay?